Hi friends, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome to my channel Prince Tech Solution. Today I am going to show you how to create a parameter in Tableau and consume it in the dashboard. So let's see. Parameter is just a kind of global variable through which you can pass uh, you know a single uh, values or array of values and the type of values can be also anything like uh, you know the list of months you can pass the list of uh, you know uh, uh, some that value added tax some values you can pass some range of values you can pass then a certain level uh, certain text uh, values so name of your students the class names so those things you can pass and dynamically you can consume it in the dashboard so this base this is basically used to enable a what if analysis in tableau what if analysis in the sense you have something to select you have something to change you have something to you know uh, say i i have a vat in certain range 10% to 20% in a due course of time if the vat is changing from uh, you know currently my vat is 13% and uh, in a due course of time if the vat is changing to 15% i will allow the user to change the vat from the front end so by changing the parameter they can change the entire report and the calculations so that kind of scenario is called as a what if analysis so let's create i hope you would enjoy this uh, you know uh, video so right click here and then create a parameter so i am going to create the parameter as that prm i'll just give the nomenclature that that okay so now i can define my uh, you know data type of my parameter as i said it is not as a single value you can pass you can pass a list of values you can pass a range you can pass a single value as well now i am going to give a range here okay as it is a numeric value vat is a numeric i'll just pass a range then the current value of vat i will select as 10% so let's say 10% or maybe 8% i'll just select now the maximum vat would be 20% so i'll just select the minimum would be 8 maximum would be uh, say 25 all right and the steps size is 1 If you give a step size is one, then it will increase like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on. If you give the step size is point five, like it will increase eight point five, then nine, nine point five, ten, ten point five, and so on. Okay, so let the the step size be point uh, five. Now my uh, parameter with vat value will be created. Let's see. So this is my parameter. Parameter is is it cannot be directly consumed by an object it is something which would be you know used in a function okay that everybody knows you know object oriented programming if you are writing a function in a you know parameterized function you have to pass the parameter so that in that function some output can be generated okay so uh, i can add it to a sheet but i cannot directly consume in the sheet okay let's see i have added this i am going to add this parameter so parameter control i can see this the list of the parameter values are showing this step 1 0.5 point uh, you know 5 to 9 10 and so on so it will be increase in this way okay maximum would be which of the value i set while creating the parameter 25 it would be something like that okay now i can also edit the title of this parameter uh it should be vat okay but its name is prm vat but for user experience it would be this vat its actual name is prm vat for my developer convenience all right so i will be creating a calculated field which will show me the vat is uh which of the vat i will use here based on that my calculation will be done okay if the vat is uh, 14% and my total price is uh, 100 then my uh, you know selling price inclusive of the vat would be 114 okay so let's just this is my sales price okay this is my sales so i will add 
you know, these are all the values in my uh, measures. Okay, so this is the selling price. I am just renaming it. Okay, selling price. Then I will create another calculated variable here. I have to create a calculated field. Okay, where I will create. inclusive of that okay so this value will this calculated uh, function or me measure will consume this parameter okay i cannot consume i cannot use a parameter directly in the object a function has to consume this okay so i will just write a small formula selling price which will be inclusive of that then plus selling price Into PRM VAT divided by hundred. This would be my calculation. Okay. So if it is hundred and my VAT is fourteen, then this would come as fourteen. If it is two hundred, likewise, it would the calculation will be very accordingly. So this is the calculated uh, you know measure I've created. The supply and okay. I could consume this parameter. If I give this as point, you know, five, it would take as fifty percent. If you if you take point zero five, it would take five percent. Accordingly, it will vary. Okay. So this is my selling price. I just could add it. This is a calculated field. Now I'll just create a small, uh, you know, uh, grid uh, where I will use consume and I will see this parameter. So I would have a list of customers. I'll just add list of customer first, then product, then uh, quantity. I'm sorry, customer product, then quantity. I added. This is the quantity, then selling price, and then selling price inclusive of that. So it's a small report I created. This quantity, selling price, and selling price inclusive of VAT. This is my report, and these are the product name, and this is customer name. Now this is my input value. On changing of this values in VAT, my parameter, my output will be changing in the report. Okay, now let's see how the output is working. Go to the presentation mode, and 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 let's see. I have the VAT is fourteen percent. Accordingly, my value is varying. Say, just assume my price is seven thousand. Okay, this is seven thousand, and based on the fourteen percent of the seven thousand, I'm going. I'm getting this much of the selling price, which is inclusive of VAT. Now, in a due course of time, if the VAT is changing, I'm just you know. Changing the VAT value from 14% to you know 12%, you would see there is a variation. Instead of this 7981 value, it will come down. Okay, the only last column is changing. I'll change the VAT to 10%. Also getting this 7001. 10% is definitely 7701. Okay, so my calculation seems correct. And this is called as a what if analysis based on this, uh, you know, selection based on the changing of these values. I'm getting my VAT value, or uh, I'm getting my last column is changing. So this kind of, you know, conditional expression, conditional values you can use in Tableau. This is this scenario will help you a lot to pass a value dynamically and to change the output accordingly. So if you like my video uh just like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching